This video demonstrates the basic concepts and features of virtual warehouses in Snowflake. A virtual warehouse is one or more clusters of compute resources used to process queries and perform other DML operations. Snowflake supports creating multiple warehouses for different uses, such as data loading and analysis. You can also use multiple warehouses to maintain development and testing environments separate from production. Warehouses come in different sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and so on. The size determines the number of servers in each cluster in the warehouse. Warehouses can be created and managed using either the web interface or SQL. Let's start by creating a warehouse in the web interface. On the Warehouses page, click Create. Give your warehouse a descriptive name that helps identify its intended purpose, then choose a size. That's it. That's all you need to create a warehouse. If multi-cluster warehouses are enabled for your account, you can also set the maximum and minimum number of clusters for the warehouse. The Auto Suspend and Auto Resume features let you control the behavior of your warehouse when it's running or suspended. Auto Suspend stops a warehouse if it sits idle for a specified period of time. Auto Resume starts a suspended warehouse when queries are submitted to it. Why use these features? Warehouses only utilize compute resources and therefore only consume Snowflake credits when running. Shutting down warehouses when they are not in use helps conserve credits and control costs. For this video, we'll keep the defaults, which creates an extra large, multi-cluster warehouse that auto-suspends after 10 minutes and auto-resumes when needed. When you click Finish, Snowflake creates the warehouse and starts provisioning servers. Once all the servers are provisioned, the warehouse is ready for use. Provisioning typically takes only a few seconds, but may take up to five minutes for extra large and larger warehouses. How do you choose the right size for a warehouse? Factors such as data size and query complexity impact the performance of a query. Each incremental increase in a warehouse size, such as from medium to large, doubles the number of servers. In general, queries scale linearly as you increase warehouse size. To determine an optimal size, we recommend loading data into Snowflake and running a representative set of queries using different size warehouses. This allows you to directly evaluate query performance using your own data. When a warehouse does not have enough resources available to concurrently process all the queries submitted to it, incoming queries are queued and then completed as resources become available. Snowflake provides two options for increasing compute resources, warehouse resizing and multi-cluster warehouses. Increase the size of a warehouse if your queries are taking too long or data loading is slow, which may happen when loading large numbers of files. You can resize a warehouse at any time, either through the interface or using SQL. Queries in progress at the time you resize the warehouse do not take advantage of the size increase. But all new and queued queries start using the additional servers as soon as they are provisioned. Multi-cluster warehouses use multiple clusters of servers to handle fluctuating numbers of concurrent queries such as during peak and off hours. As the load increases, the warehouse automatically starts more clusters to prevent queries from queuing. When the additional clusters are no longer needed, it shuts them down. Multi-cluster warehouses are a Snowflake Enterprise Edition feature. In summary, resizing warehouses provides performance benefits for slow-running queries and data loading, while multi-cluster warehouses dynamically adapt to increases and decreases in the number of queries. To help ensure effective warehouse usage, Snowflake lets you monitor query load. In the web interface, click the name of a warehouse to display the average load on the warehouse for all queries processed and queued over the last two weeks. The page displays query load in intervals of five minutes or one hour, depending on the length of the viewing window. Earlier, we mentioned warehouse usage and credits. How does this translate into cost for using Snowflake? 
All warehouse costs are based on Snowflake credits. A warehouse only consumes credits when it runs, so you only pay for what you use. The number of credits consumed by a running warehouse is based on its size and number of clusters and how long it runs. Each time a warehouse is resumed or increased in size, your account is billed for one minute of usage. After the first minute, billing is calculated per second. With per second billing and auto suspend, you can choose the best warehouse size for your query loads without worrying about credit consumption. We recommend starting with large or extra large warehouses and then sizing them up or down based on how your queries perform. This concludes this short introduction to virtual warehouses. For more detailed information, see the Snowflake documentation. Thanks for watching.